Are you thinking of purchasing a 2020 Dodge Challenger wide body Hellcat? Well, today on this episode, we'll be taking a quick look at one. Yeah, buddy. What's up Mopar fam, it's your boy at Fred Easy. What's going on? Happy holidays to you and yours, and we're gonna close this year up with this quick banger of an episode on this beautiful Mopar Sunday Fun Day. This episode is for anyone interested in buying a 2020 Dodge Challenger wide body Hellcat. We'll be doing a quick walk around to show y'all what it looks like POV style, baby. So sit back, relax in your warm, comfy environment, and let's go and take a quick look so you don't have to during these winter lockdown times. All right guys, so here we are at the Muscle Mouse Auto Spa Shop in Aurelia, Ontario and caught a beautiful 2020 Dodge Challenger Hellcat that just got ceramic coated. This baby is legitimately clean. Like literally. Damn, look at this beautiful Mopar beast. There's so much to like about this wide body Hellcat, but what gets my attention right away is the functional hood scoops that go directly to the air intake. Now that's functional, baby. Like literally functional, air into the air intake. Walking around this beast, it looks fast at a stationary position. The Hellcat motor itself is visually impressive. Add on the wide body style and rims, and this unit really breaks necks. The interior has a nice Hellcat badging and stitching, but it's fairly similar in setup compared to the 392s and 5.7s. This baby has got the slick Harman Kardon system that is tucked away nicely to give you that much needed trunk space while giving you that much needed base. It is much needed. All right, so let's go ahead and take a break, guys, and listen to a beautiful cold start on this baby. And let's go ahead and hear this baby purr. Yeah, bucko. He took the um, resonators off this thing, so when you hear this thing, it's, it's pretty loud. Yeah, yeah. It's I'd pretty bet. loud. Damn, that sounds so sexy. A 2020 Dodge Challenger wide body Hellcat goes for about $100,000 Canadian. Depending on your add-ons, right, you could get it for cheaper, and if you can, cool story, bro. But you know what? Depending on your package, the price may vary, so it's about $100,000 off the lot too, you gotta you consider taxes and stuff like that. And to be honest, it's not bad considering you're purchasing over 700 horsepower without doing any additional work. It's a clean purchase that gets you rolling right away. The other option for us Mopar fan would be to dump around 20 to 30K for forged internals, a supercharger, and a dyno tune alone into a 5.7 Hemi or a 6.4 liter 392. But you know what, either way, Either you get a Hellcat or you, you you do the journey of modifying your own Mopar. It's all good. It's all good. We all end up in the same happy place. Either way, let's go ahead and take a quick look at a Supercharged 392 Beast. One of my favorite episodes in 2020. Let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, dude, are you running boost, bro? <laughs> Legit, bro. <laughs> That's so loud. That's quiet. <laughs> Yo, you got it. So you, you run some boost? Yeah, I'm running my pro charger. Yeah, pro charger. Pro charger. Oh, okay. Nice, bro. Charged. Did you do the internals? Yeah. Yeah. Forge internals, cam. Cat, Boom. Cat, cat, cat elite. Yeah. I got everything. Shit. It's fucking fast, man. Dude. Dude. You have Hellcats run for the money? 640 to the wheel, 768 to the crank. Not bad at all setup. And also something else to consider if you don't want to get the Hellcat. It's not a bad option, right? Not bad. 
Wow, what a ride. The Hellcat is a winner either way. If it's a Challenger or a Charger, you're liable to break some necks for sure. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. I'd really appreciate it. Take care, happy holidays, and I'll catch you guys later in 2021. Peace.